Hello comrades, Kamisa Bro here today with an interesting game. The recently released Crest is a god game by uh, a studio called Eat Create Sleep. This copy was actually provided uh, by them to me uh, to just kind of, you know, do a little uh, impressions video, the review type bit. And I gotta say, this is an interesting game. It's a very interesting take on the whole god game genre. It's... I don't know. It's very currently. It's incredibly simple. The way the game actually plays is, as you can see here, you've got like your main city, right? And then you've got little villages, outlying villages, all around it. Each one of these hexagonal squares here, uh, squ <laughs> hexagonal squares. Oh, it's been a day. Anyway, each one of these uh, these uh, hexagons here basically shows you the needs of your people how like this one right here is how soon a baby will be born the happiness of your people how fed they are um, you know the average age of your people um, how much food they have and how much metal they have so basically the way you control your populace or at least indirectly control them is you have commandments as we can see down here in this little tab through experimentation we can try to find ways to make our tribe survive longer. Again, it's a very simple game. And uh, let's see. As you, as you can see, a lot of people just, uh, they became unhappy. Let's see why they're unhappy. Well, uh, they need metal for survival. They don't have any offspring, or they want offspring. Food is majorly in abundance. Metal's apparently majorly in abundance, and people are moving out. So that's basically what's wrong with them. <laughs> It's kind of kind of not, not very helpful, right? Yeah, right? Yeah, okay. So what we're going to do is, uh, well, since we have a lot of people, let's say the happy people in the village, uh, as this symbol dictates, prioritize babies. Go have babies. I issue my commandment. That's right. Now that the commandment has been issued, uh, basically that's what the people who aren't doing anything are going to focus on is having babies and spreading out into the new world yeah that's right the problem that this causes now is obviously you need more resources you need more food this isn't a very big island but it's big enough to sustain people for at least a, a short while right so let's say okay unhappy people I want you to prioritize metal yeah that's right proclaim the commandment and we'll speed it up. Each game only probably lasts between 15 and 30 minutes. And if you have it on the setting that I've got it on, it probably lasts even less time than that. When you see this, basically it means a group of people are moving away and building a brand new city. And I think what this dictates right there is that these people don't believe in you anymore. So what's happening is because of unhappiness, my people being unhappy... Uh, they're either dying of starvation or moving on or what not ever. So what we want our people to do, I guess, then, let's say young followers, prioritize food. Yeah, let's make sure that they're getting food so we have enough food. Because everyone's moving over here. And we don't want that now, do we? No, we don't. At least I assume we don't. I, I, I think that's under a different deity. Again, I'm not 100% sure. But our people are leaving with disturbing quickness. Oh, and dying too. That that what? Starvation? Of course, of course. All right. Well, uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's uh, prioritize more food. Do it. Get more food, because clearly we don't have enough. Uh oh. That means this town's probably gonna die off soon, and that means we'll only have two towns left. So as we can see, these are all the commandments I've issued. Um, generally, commandments only last about sixty seconds or so on the triple speed so yeah, yeah that's something to keep in mind I don't know this whole game is experimentation it's kinda cool like it's it's interesting to see what what happens and if other um, you know just how like the people will survive how they're gonna keep going so on and so forth and apparently we're still alive my legacy hasn't ended yet so we did pretty good in that respect but I don't know. And then, and then something else that's really cool is the developers are actually releasing updates weekly. So I don't know. It, it seems like they're actually putting in the time and effort for the game, which is awesome. 
it's just like I said, this is a very, very interesting take on the God game in general. Again, it's incredibly hands-off. Whereas games like Black and White or um, even Goddess to a degree, it's more, you know, you, you have a more direct effect and control on the world around you. It's sort of like in, like From Dust. That would be another good example. One thing, and actually probably my favorite part of the entire game, though, is the fact that it's the the basically evolving terrain that's going on around you. Like, rivers will overflow. Sometimes the sea will overtake parts of the map. And your whole civilization can actually be drowned <laughs> and thus effectively fail. Things I would like to see in the future, I would actually like to see more... Um, more things going on with your people yeah like maintaining the food and the metal and whatnot's pretty cool but i think it would be a lot cooler if we could also you know let's actually let's make our happy followers happy followers prioritize babies go have more babies but anyway so yeah it would be just cool to actually be able to expand and like had do more because right now it's again it's kind of more of a sit back and watch to see what your proclamations do to your people if it works if it doesn't work so on and so forth i mean it's a really really interesting concept and the game itself is actually pretty fun but again there's not much to do once you've kind of experimented with it oh look at that look at that look at look at what the ranges did that big long line of trees creating forests uh, across these deserts. That was awesome. See, that's what I was talking about, the terrain. I know I keep getting distracted, and I apologize. I can't help it just because, like, the, the world feels alive, and I like that. I love games that do that, that actually make you feel like you're a part of it or that things you are doing have an effect on the world, uh, per se. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyway, this has been Commissar Bro, just giving a quick look at Crest. I know this has been kind of um, spotty in terms of me being easily distracted and whatnot, but I can't help but sit and watch this game. Like, it's just interest. It's really interesting to watch. Like, just watching new rivers be created, to watch floods happen, to watch the rivers pass by and so on. It's like that mountain game, except far more interesting. And and it looks like my civilization's about to die out here because I've only got one town left, and they're not breeding anymore. Happy people have babies, damn it. Go, go out and make your god proud. Go bone for the bone god. <laughs> anyway, this has been Commissar Bro. Thank you so much for watching. And, uh, you know, there we go. And our legacy ended there. Go support these guys. They have an interesting concept on their hands. And I think that uh, with the proper love and care, which it seems like they're giving it, it'll actually be worth your time and money. And, yeah, I could see a lot of potential from this game, you know, further in the future, especially with these nice little simple terraforming effects and whatnot. I really like that. I really enjoy that. But anyway, I will see you guys next time.